There are many amazing places on Earth where life is radically different from ours. Apart from them is the Sud Swamp, located on the territory of South Sudan. This not too cozy, not particularly hospitable area is a unique ecosystem that has become home not only to numerous animals and plants, but also to people. Sud is one of the largest swamps in the world, the size of which is amazing. At the same time, its area is variable during the rainy season which lasts from April to September, it can increase to 150,000 square kilometers. This is more than the area of the country of Bangladesh, where about 165 million people live. Sud is located in the White Nile Valley. This is a section of the Nile River located on the territory of South Sudan. Since the slope here is very small, the river flows extremely slowly, as a result of which the White Nile spreads over an impressive area, while it has no banks as such. For many centuries, the swamp has been a serious obstacle for people traveling on the Nile. Researchers trying to find the sources of the river had little chance to pass through it. They were hampered by the abundance of moisture-loving plants. The first Europeans penetrated there only in the 19th century. This area is characterized by an amazing variety of fauna. The swamp is home to about 400 species of birds, including pink pelicans, royal heron. In addition, more than 100 species of mammals have found shelter here. There are wild rice-eating antelopes among them, and there is no shortage of vegetation. In particular, cattails and papyrus can be found in the swamp. When floods occur, some plants are destroyed, resulting in the formation of floating islands. Sometimes their length reaches 30 kilometers. That's just the life of these islands is short. They are destroyed quickly enough. It would seem that who would want to live in such difficult and unusual conditions, but people are amazing creatures who, if necessary, are able to adapt well. Surprisingly, the Sud Swamp is inhabited, inhabited by representatives of a group of related peoples called Nelets. Their houses are located on small plots of land and are round huts with conical roofs. The walls are made of branches that are covered with a mixture of manure, straw, and clay. About once every five to six years, such a house has to be built anew. On the territory of Sutta, people who are not pilots travel on wooden boats. There is no possibility of farming or raising cattle on a large scale in the swamp. At the same time, some of its residents, it turns out, create miniature vegetable gardens right next to the hut or keep goats. And in some arid areas, corn and beans are grown. Basically, the inhabitants of the swamps feed on fish. Fortunately, there is no shortage of it. In addition, fishermen often come across individuals of such impressive size that they have to be pulled out of the water with outside help. There are no cities here, but there are separate villages, clans, or tribes consisting, as a rule, of two or three dozen houses. Life in swamps is difficult and dangerous, malaria mosquitoes and a huge number of various parasites multiply in stagnant waters. When their numbers exceed the usual level, they leave the swamps and cause a wave of epidemics in eastern and southern Africa. But, despite all the disadvantages, non-pilots love their home and do not want to move to cities or villages on land. A significant part of the Nelets are adherents of traditional beliefs. They prefer to live the way their ancestors lived for hundreds of years. They keep wooden idols personifying the gods in their huts. The most important deity is Dan Did who is considered the creator of people. According to the World Wildlife Fund, SAD needs international protection. It is quite possible that someday the swamp will disappear forever. The reason for this will be the John Le Canal, the joint brainchild of Egypt and Sudan. His first project appeared at the dawn of the 20th century. In the 50s, it was decided to build it. The work began directly in the late 70s. First of all, 
The canal is necessary in order to improve Egypt's water supply. The problem is that about half of the water from the southwestern tributaries of the Nile does not reach the lower reaches of the river as it evaporates in the swamp. The civil war in Sudan prevented the implementation of this project. As a result, it was possible to dig only 240 kilometers out of 360. In 1984 the work was suspended. If the construction of the canal is still completed, and there are such plans, it can lead to serious environmental consequences, besides, you should not lose your house. We can only hope that people will be able to find a solution to the problem that will preserve the unique ecosystem. That's it, friends, if you like this story, support us with a like and share the video with friends, as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and click on the bell to receive notifications about the release of new videos. Bye everyone, see you in the next video.